So the topic for today is about uh, information economy. Here we'll basically discuss about uh, that information integration part and what are the things that are basically delaying or uh, creating obstruction uh, for information integration. And then uh, how ETL can help us in to overcome those constraints. And then uh, why ETL is still so relevant. So now moving on to that next slide. Now, as, as, I, as I was saying that, you know, that information economy. So in the, in the, at the, at the lower portion of the slide, you will see there, there, there we have mentioned, you know, cloud computing applications, databases, unstructured data, and the partner data, right? So these are the applications and these are the different, uh, <coughs> these are the different systems uh, companies are using today to run their business. So they may be using the cloud computing, they may be using different ERP applications, they may be storing the data and using some custom applications uh, to store the data in different databases. People are, companies are handling unstructured data and there are the partner data of specific format like you know Swift data, Natcha, HIPAA. They, they have got doing specific format and uh, you know, specific uh, security standards following. Now above that yellow and uh, black bar, we'll see a lot of you know the business jargons. Uh, improve decisions, modernize business like that. Now, what are these basically? So companies which are operating in this particular, using this particular systems, either cloud computing applications, databases, unstructured data, and the partner data, right? So to be relevant in this current market scenario, they should have, they should, they, they should have this, uh, I mean, activities in place. Like, you know, they should have the improved decisions. They should have uh, the modernized business. They should have improved efficiency uh, and they should, uh, and there will be mergers and acquisitions. A lot of companies, you know, are buying the companies. So in those cases, you know, we need to consolidate their data. The parent company, which is buying that companies, uh, they should have, uh, they should integrate the data seamlessly uh, 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 with the companies they are buying actually. Now, there will be uh, challenges in acquiring and retaining the customers for telecom companies mostly. Then there will be outsourcing for non-core business. There will be governance risk compliance, just like you know, the HIPAA and those stuff. Then we'll have uh, increased partner network efficiency and increased business agility. So all these, all these activities are governed, all they are driven by basically, you know, that five terms that mentioned over there, the globalization, the consolidation, the growth, operational efficiency and the governance. So what is the problem basically? The problem is basically the yellow and the black bar. So problem is integrating the data from all these applications to create a uniform data store um, so that it helps, the data store helps us to, uh, to decide on the business, you know, the KPIs and the metrics on the real time basis or one, you know, the based on the latency said by the business, right? So that is where Informatica is helping us. So now next thing is about the ETL part. So if we have, if we have data in all these systems, like, you know, uh, maybe in the cloud, maybe in the application, maybe in the database, then, then, then how, how, how is it possible to uh, load the data or to, to build a uniform data service line or you can say that uniform data store? So ETL is going to help us over there. Now, ETL, I think as, a, as, a, as you all know, it stands for uh, extraction, tr transformation and load. Now extraction is basically, you know, it represents the ability to consistently and reliably extract data with high performance and minimal impact to the source system. So whenever we are extracting the data, so th there is bound, uh, the source system from which we are extracting data is bound to have some load on it. So we should, we should, we should uh, make sure that there is minimum impact to the source system. And then the T, T represents the ability to transform one or more data sets in batch or real time into a consumable format, right? And the L, L stands for the loading into the persistent or a virtual data store. Now, this particular ETL is the most challenging, costly and time consuming step towards building any type of data warehouse or data integration solutions. Now, the step usually determines the success or the failure of a data warehouse because any analysis lays a lot of importance on the data and the quality of the data that is being analyzed. So if you translate IT analytics professions 
into the Hollywood counter counterparts, you know, analysts uh, can be considered the stars and the architects can be considered directors. But then where uh, this ETL folks are going. So now, you know, only the directors and the actors, they cannot make a movie. So in order to make a movie, you'll need all the background stuff, uh, all the background work, like, you know, the cameraman, the sound man, and, and, and that, you know, other relevant uh, stuffs. So ETL persons, basically, they fill up uh, in this uh, IT analytics proficients, ETL, ca ETL counterpart are basically those stuffs, right? So this is basically the most challenging part and the most relevant part of any data warehouse project. Now we have been, in the, with the advent of big data, you know, we have been seeing that a lot of uh, discussions are going on. If uh, big data is going to fade away, uh, the importance of ETL. So, uh, well, I'm, I'm surprised to, uh, you know, listen to this, all, all this, uh, or, you know, reading uh, through all these blogs, because uh, ETL is uh, the, it's basically a need the data actually need to flow from source application to the analytic data stored in a controlled and reliable and uh, reliable secure manner so etl etl is the only way of uh, doing this then information need to be standardized with regards to the semantics format lexical for accurate analysis so this is basically the data standardization part right so without etl we are not going to uh, we are not going going to achieve it and then operational results need to be consistent and repeatable as well as verifiable and transparent. So we should have a single point of truth present for our entire data warehouse. And ETL is the only way to achieve that, 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 that particular activity. So we may not be having, you know, the, um, we may not be having, you know, the data, the target data store in, in future, but, you know, the data stores uh, where we are storing the data, that may change the big data or the Hadoop, they may introduce, you know, se several set of frameworks to store the data efficiently, to, to pro process the data efficiently in a different cost effective manners. But, you know, in order to bring the data into that, uh, into those systems and uh, to maintain the standardization of the data, you know, ETL is going to be needed and it's not going to uh, be faded, uh, not even, you know, kind of in a decades. Yeah. So, yeah, th 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 that's, th that's a perception. Now, why, why ETL is uh, still so relevant? Because it facilitates uh, the integration of the data from different uh, data sources for building a data warehouse. Business have data in multiple databases uh, with different codification and formats. Transformations required to convert and to summarize operational data into consistent business-oriented format. Pre-computation for any derived information. Summarization is also carried out to pre-compute summary, summaries and aggregates makes data available in a queryable format. So now as you know, as I was talking about uh, in, in the previous slides, I was talking about the different applications that a company may be using to effectively run their business. So then uh, when we are going to go for any, you know, analytic solution, so we should have a single place from where, you know, all the data should be sourced. That particular application should get the data from a single uh, uh, single data source so that, you know, single version of truth can come out. So if, if a company if a company has, you know, that uh, different uh, data source for the customers, right? So some, some, some of the company's branches are, you know, uh, storing the data storing the customer data in database some of them are storing in the uh, in, in a file format some of them in an excel format some of them in a different other format right so in order to have a seamless integration of all the systems we should have a uh, uniform data store where you know we have standard maintained data so that whenever we query that particular customer database or the master customer master database we can get a single version of the truth and etl is the way uh, to achieve this particular activity.